Yeah, let, let's talk. Um, let's start with the probably the best division in baseball, year in and year out, uh, the American League East. Yeah. This one, this one's going to be really interesting this year because the Yankees. As much as I hate the Yankees, I get what we can do a little prediction on uh, how each division is going to finish out. I think they're going to win the division this year. I think they're going to do the same thing that they do every single year. They're going to look really good heading into the playoffs, and then they're going to run into some sort of buzzsaw. Um, and I'm after that, I'm going to say Baltimore. I feel like Baltimore is one of the sleeper teams of the year right now. Adley Rutschman looked fantastic today. He looked fantastic last year. Yeah, but that's the Red Sox pitching staff, right? It's not. Uh, I don't like uh, Travis Darno uh, had four hits today. We're talking about big <laughs> days for catchers, but he was facing the Nationals. I don't. Um, okay, so you got the Orioles. Um, I say I see the Orioles in second place. Um, now the the last three, those that's where it really gets kind of sticky because I think the Yankees are are a good amount ahead of everybody else right now. I don't think there's anybody that's super close now you could make a case for the, for the blue jays right now um I, the blue jays every year it, it's the same thing they're kind of the chargers to me um they're a social media team i guess is as some people like to say about the la chargers right the blue jays love to get talked up they have a great offense something always fails there's an injury there, there's some sort of issue that always happens with the blue jays um the rays they took a big step back last year, and I don't see them. Re- they didn't really add much this year. They didn't add anything of true substance. And they're always going to find a way to scrap together wins. Um, they're they're going to find a way to probably go above 500. And then you look at the Red Sox. They have an old starting. They have an old just pitching rotation right now. Just bullpen and rotation. And if you look at that rotation, the offense is going to be an issue first off. We just don't even have to worry about the offense. The rotation, if you get everybody, if you get everything out of everybody, that rotation is really good. You, If you can get Sale back to form, if you can get Corey Kluber back to form, you can get Nick Pavetta to pitch okay, you know, as that number three guy, you're going to have a good rotation, but that's such a gamble to take. And the Red Sox, we won 78 games last year. No, And we finished in last. I mean, that was just a really good division last year. There was no other team that finished in – I think I think we the lowest we would have been in any other division would have been fourth place, and we would have been really close to third. We were in a great team last year, but we were a lot better than than I think we got credit for. But I think I'm thinking Tampa Bay is going to be third. They're probably going to be around 84 wins, in my opinion. I think Toronto is going to hover around 500 again, and then I think the Red Sox are going to be right there, maybe like a game back at Toronto at just under 500 just because I don't have enough faith in the pitching staff this year. I think the offense is going to be really good like they were last year, but I think again, is it's one day, but I think the pitching staff is not going to be consistent enough. They're going to have really good stretches and really bad stretches. And I think Heim Bloom is going to fail to add what he needs at the deadline when that comes, when, when they're going to make that push basically at the end of the year. So you've got the Sox in last. Yes. Okay. Um, for me, I mean, it's it's hard not to think about the Yankees from last year. I mean, they started like 61 and 23, and then by the end they were just totally outclassed by the Astros. And I kind of agree with you. I, I like I can't trust them to do anything until again, like even today, oh well, they won five nothing. Judge hit a homer, Cole pitched great, and like they still struck out 16 times. And that's yeah. They're the kind of team that will 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 falter probably because of the way their offense is built. Yes, they had injuries last year. You know, they they squeaked by the Guardians, who probably weren't even supposed to be there, and then they got swept out by the uh, by the Astros. And I, I I think they'll win the division too. I say that only because I don't trust the Blue Jays. You're right. I don't know if it's a cultural thing. You know, I've friends who are fans of the Jays, and they'll swear that the that, that Mentally, they're just not all in it. I mean, you think about it, and like a guy like Springer, for example, he's in, very injury prone. It, it, they just feel you're right, like a paper champion kind of team. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't know if they did enough in the offseason to address the bullpen, which is what really hurt them in the postseason series against Seattle. Uh, I still think they will finish second um, just based on the pure talent they have. I, I, as an Orioles fan, I want to say the Orioles are going to step up. I, I'm going to put them at third, put the Orioles at third, just because there's a lot of young talent there. There's, there's a growing confidence. Um, it's hard to count out the Rays, though. I mean, even when we say the Rays take a step back, they kind of take a step back to just quote where they should be, you know, yeah. and that's still not bad because they have pitching. You know, they got a good performance from McClanahan today. If they stay healthy, you know, I, I'm almost tempted to have them ahead of the Orioles, but I want to give the Orioles a little, a little more credit here. Um, yeah. So I think Tampa finishes a gentlemanly fourth. You know, it still has a pretty solid season. And then I guess I guess I'd have to go the Red Sox last because again the Red Sox it's more the pitching, like you said yeah. they don't you know consistently uh, is Chris Sale are they going to keep him I mean I don't know are they are they going to trade there, bait? I don't really see him as trade bait um, I don't I just because he's so injury prone I don't think anybody would want to take a chance on him even if it is a team that's out of it at the deadline like Kansas City or or possibly you know Detroit maybe. I don't see them ever wanting to take take a chance unless maybe they want to bring in a veteran for their young pitching. I mean, Detroit cannot develop pitching. I don't understand how they can't. I mean, they developed three really good pitchers and then they've just fallen off the face of the earth. I don't know how it happened, but um, maybe those three really good pitchers just overcame more than anything. Um uh, but I, I mean, I listen. The, I think these. I think it's going to be very close. I don't. When when people hear last place Red Sox, fourth place Rays, or fourth place Blue Jays, I think they're all going to be kind of bunched together. And the Yankees are because they're they're good. They're really good. They're just in another class. I think compared to that, they're kind of in between, like the the top of the class of the American League, and like the kind of bunched together mess that is the rest of the league. So I could see all teams finishing with finishing above 500. Basically I could see that. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it wouldn't shock me at all. If, if every team finished above 500, because last year they did, there was a point where they were all above 500 and it was maybe looking like, Oh, could every single team squeeze in? Right. Is it how, yeah. how many, what, what's the, um, how many playoff teams are there now? There's the three division winners. And then three and wild cards. So three wild cards. So <laughs> there could have been four from the AL East that could squeeze in. Uh right, right. Last year there were, right? The no, I'm sorry, the Orioles didn't make it. So they the two of the wild cards were from the East. Yeah. And then I think you had the the uh who was the Seattle. Seattle, Seattle was the right. that one. Right, beat the Jays. Okay. Mm-hmm. 